<laughs> All right, well, we've been on a little mission to find a new turkey. We have Slater, our blue slate turkey, and we sold off all our royal palm turkeys a few months ago right before we moved. Uh, he's a great protector of the flock, but we need a mate for him. He's just really bored, and uh, we know we're gonna see some chicks, we know we're gonna see some ducks, but hoping there might be some blue slate turkey pults there. Let's go check it out. You wanna see if we can find a turkey? Yes! This is this is uh, our our famous lavender Orpington mm -hmm. Tin Man that we got from you. Uh huh. Everybody on our channel knows. Yeah. Tin Man. So oh, I you know I still get people. Uh, usually about one a week. Says hey, I saw that video. I still get people talking about that. All right, we came out to a chick days here with Alan with Harlan Hatchery. What's going on, Alan? Same old, same old. And last Real year silly. we last year we came out to your place. We actually got to see one of the breeder farms. Yep. Yep. And uh, what's what's been new with you guys? Oh, we've added a few stores. We're going down in Arkansas now. Your thing is a lot of people don't know that you go to the store versus like a hatchery that mostly just ships. You right. people, you go out to the people. I go after people. I go yeah. to the town. So I guess I will say this: if anybody that's watching this lives in an area that I do not come to, if you know of a store that is not. A like an Orslins or a track supply, but a store that's owned by individuals mm -hmm. that would be interested in doing chick day, please let me know for next year because I'm starting to plan. And you're mostly, you're, you do like Missouri, Kansas, Arkansas, Arkansas and Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yep, yeah. four states. Yeah. So I am always looking for more areas and I, you know, would love to come to a town where, you know, there's, you know, market. So, yeah. But we're still hatching. We hatch from February till November. So the calendar, www.heartlandhatchery.net. Yeah. And on our website, there's a Facebook link. Go to the Facebook page, and on there is the calendar for the final chick day. Okay, what else? Uh, let's look at some gimmies. Okay. What do you want? Purple or pearls? And I'm getting thin on the purples, it looks like. We got a few. Three and four. Okay, what else? You like this little guy? Yep. All right, let's take these little guys home and see what we got, okay? All right, I can tell from the feathers. That's what I can tell. So we're clearing out some spots in the shed so that we can put the brooder in here and then Jake's gonna fix the electrical. It's not working right now. And we're gonna get a heat lamp on him. You liking him, Eli? Sure. All right, we got our brooder back here. Yeah. Got it cleaned out from, we've raised a few things in it over the past year. We'll put some new wood chips in here. We've got some power. We just got run here to the shed. And we'll put a heat lamp in here for the chicks and guineas. All right, Eli, let's see what we got here, buddy. All right, let's see what chicks we got from Heartland Hatchery. You want to lift? Uh, First one I like. Go ahead, lift one up you like. Oh, well then that one. All right, well we got some, these are some little Seabrights, and if you haven't seen a Seabright rooster, they are just hilarious. The way they puff their chests out and crow. <laughs> this one's a silver Seabright, we'll put them in here. And back by popular demand, we've got some Lavender Orpingtons. We, we sold some of our Lavender Orpingtons recently, and of course Tin Man uh, was a Lavender Orpington. Looks like we've got five of them in here, little baby chicks. This is a gold Seabright. So we've got a gold and a silver Seabright. I think we've got two golds and one silver. All right, let's get him dried off and under the heater here. All right, so Alan has a tendency to just put some chicks in uh, for us to, to have. And I'm not sure which, what breed this one was. I think you've got a gold Seabright. Okay, came into my hand there. If anyone knows what breed this is, let us know down in the comments. I am not sure what breed Alan placed in our box here. All right, and then the new adventure that we are starting here are guineas. A lot of you guys have asked us to get guineas or hatch out guineas, and we have got some pearl and purple guineas. Check these guys out. Of course, the nice thing about guineas 
Uh, they're a great bird to free range on your property and they are great at eating ticks out in the field. And so we're really excited to have these guys. We're gonna raise them up, keep them with the chickens for a little bit so they get to know their home and then we're gonna let them out. We'll give them their own coop that they can go back to at night if they wanna use it. If they wanna free range and roost in trees, we might do that. But for a while, we'll keep them here in the brooder before we move them over to the chicken tractor. It looks so cool. I know they get noisy when they get bigger, but they're already pretty noisy here. There's little turkey peats. I think that's the biggest one. I think the other ones are tiny. So we've got four of this color, and then there's the solid color one. That might be the pearl, I'm not sure. Let's put these guys in the brooder and we'll come check them out a little later. All right, well, we thought it might be fun to show you some of the other things we're working on here on the farm at the same time as growing these chicks. And we'll show you the chicks and guineas here before this video's over, but check this out. We got ourselves a trencher today because we need to run power. We just upgraded our power here so we can run power back to the barn. It's about 120, 130 feet away. And we had an electrician give us a quote and it was really high. So we thought, let's figure out how to do it ourselves. I feel like this is a good time to say, Make sure you check all your local laws, regulations. Also feel comfortable with doing any of this. I don't recommend anybody do electrical on their own. We're gonna be running a really powerful line from that box back to the garage. But if you do do it yourself, good luck. And I think it's a, a cool thing to do. So uh, what we're gonna do is start this trencher. I've never used a trencher before. And so we're gonna see, uh, I mean, it basically looks like a big chainsaw. Check that out. This thing's gonna dig us a little three foot deep line and run it all the way back to the garage. So let's see if we can get this thing going. Check this out. That is awesome. This is gonna save days and days of hand digging this thing to do this in a couple hours. Yesterday we got all of the digging done. Check it out, it goes through the entire yard here, all the way back to the outbuilding, and then we have some power going over to a shed for our chicks, for the brooder, and then maybe for like our rabbits in the winter, things like that, that we can keep over there. Uh, all right, you ready? you ready to knock the dirt in? Yes, no, give me that, I need that. Isaiah, you gonna knock the dirt in? Oh, you just wanna hold the camera? Come on, knock the dirt in. Good job, Mom. For the boys. <laughs> that. Ah, that's not broken. That is broken. Use a shovel, a real shovel. Now it's broken. All right, so we've had these chicks for a couple days here at home. And how are they doing? They're doing good. Pretty warm in here, so they're getting enough heat. We need to probably leave the doors open to get a little more airflow in here, but I think they're doing really good. And what kind of things do we check for when they're this young? Make sure they are staying clean, they don't have pasty butt, make sure they're eating and drinking, moving around just fine, staying warm. You can tell when they're getting too hot, they'll be spread out away from the heat lamp. If it's too cool in here, then they'll be all huddled together in a pile. So you can kind of tell with that. And it's hot in here. I am, I am sweating like crazy in here. So it's it's hot. We don't even need the the heat lamp right here. There's just a, a light bulb in here, and it puts off 
enough heat. All right, let's check on the guineas. And how are the guineas doing? They're doing good. They're fast. They're kind of hard to catch. And squirmy. Hold on. Squirmy and noisy. They're fun. We haven't had guineas before, so we're excited to get these on the farm. Hopefully free range them. It works out good. Well, of course, at the beginning of the video, I was hopeful that we could get some turkey poults and it's out of season for them. So it was just a little late from when we got some last year. So that's okay. We'll try again next year for some blue slate turkey poults. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with us. I'll show you a little bit of footage from the chicks and the Keats here in their cage running around. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.